Hello guys, it's Lee. It is mid-October. Ooh, the sun's in your eyes. Um, it's Friday afternoon, home from work, and um, I'm getting loaded up to go on a run for a John Deere 425. Now, this isn't a typical run like I do. This is my aunt's. Uh, she lives a couple hours away, about two and a half hours away. Taking my yard man with the hydraulics on it, and I got the front uh, pull bar on it, just because it, the, the one I'm buying uh, hadn't ran in five years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so it hadn't ran in a while, so I don't anticipate it starting. Even though I'm taking my booster box and a little gasoline, a little starting fluid, I've got a chain and some straps and all that to uh, pull it up on the trailer with, because I know you can't push that thing. But um, but we'll hook up with my dad in the morning, go about two and a half hours down the road. Um, I'm in Middle Tennessee. Now look, that's gonna be for sale. So if you're looking for a John Deere 425, it's getting ready to be for sale, but I'm gonna get it home and get it running before I sell it. And I'm doing it for her. All right, so we're moving into Nashville. Don't know if you can see it or not, but the Batman building is on your left. Titan Stadium's gonna be up here on your right in a minute. If you like videos like these subscribe to my channel hello guys it's lee so it's a couple of days later and i made it home but i didn't strap the back down I strapped the front down or i strapped one side of the back down so it wouldn't roll forward <laughs> but every time i hit a bump the rear end of this machine shifted so let me show you what straight happened on the trailer and just shifted over here so i can't really back it out or push it out or pull it out because it's gonna run right into this. So I'm gonna have to lift up the front end and swing it over. So I got it in here and I'm just going to hook a booster pack up to it. I just put gas in it on the way down here. The gas tank, thank goodness, was completely empty. So fingers crossed to hope the carburetor was empty and um, this thing just fires off. I mean, it ran when it was put up and if there was no gas left in the carburetor, I think we ought to be good. Of course the battery's dead but i'm gonna put a booster pack on it i'm gonna put some starting fluid in the carb just to help it because i know it's got to get back into the fuel filter and fuel pump and all that so we'll see what happens all right so i put starting fluid in the carburetor i put fresh gas in it which it was empty just put a new battery on it so my question is i never dealt with these much so if i turn the key on is that the fuel pump I hear, or is that something else? First time, and whoever stored it did a good job because easy start.
2001 I saw somewhere on it. But anyway, it's um, been sitting for, I think, well, the battery's 2019. So it's been four or five years before it ran a whole lot. Of course, I got the panels off and all that, working on it, putting a new battery on it, or one off that one anyway. Looks pretty good. Did it, serviced it well, because, you know, the carburetor evidently was clean of gas. Um, I know the fuel tank was, so maybe they just ran it out, and if they did, that was very smart. But anyway, so that's gonna be up for sale. Now I will uh, get out here and put it all back together and mow with it at least once or twice to make sure everything's functioning properly before I sell it. Um, and if it's not, I'll either fix it or I'll tell you about it because it's not gonna be anything too bad. Um, so that's it. Um, I'll probably finish this video up with me mowing with it. Did have to put automatic transmission fluid in this tire. We'll see how it holds because I aired it up um, oh, just a few hours ago. And it's already going down. So if this don't work, we'll have to get a tube in it. Getting ready to mow. I'll mow a little bit on camera, but uh, I'm gonna mow for, oh, you know, 45 minutes, mow the yard. of the video so i ran it for a while I, mean, I took the camera off and i ran it out there on the front yard i probably ran it 45 minutes and um so what i'm doing of course i'll leave the panels off as i run it i'll probably leave them off for a while because i'm always looking for leaks and things that you know that you can't see behind the panels so um because it has been sitting up i just want to make sure everything is as it should be i'm gonna park it on the concrete here looking for leaks because i know there's hydraulic hoses going underneath and there's a lot of hydraulics going on under there and this would just be a good easy way to see if there's any leak so anyway that's the end of this video um hey if you like this kind of stuff subscribe to my channel if you're interested in a john deere 425 let me know in the comments or maybe even put in the comments, if you don't mind, what you think a good asking price is for it. Uh, and I'm assuming everything is perfect on this. And if it's not, then I'll address it. All right, guys, I'm out.